Hi, welcome back. This is Adventures with Dr. Joe. You might be wondering what this odd thing is. Let's get a close-up look at it. This is one of the plug-and-play adapters that fit into the Polaris pulse bar. This is a huge advantage over previous wiring systems. This literally can be connected to any, any accessory, light bar, winch, um, uh, inside uh, dome lights, uh, backup cameras, etc. Literally, we connect these these lines and literally plug this into the pulse bar. These wires are important. There are three. Notice there's red, black, and blue. The red connects to the power that goes directly to the battery. The black is the ground. The blue runs only when the ignition is turned on. When the ignition is turned off, it turns off as well. So this is an important three-wire configuration. Let's look at the pulse bar and I'll show you how this fits in there. So this is the pulse bar on my Polaris Ranger XP1000. It's 2022 and you can see we've got it used for quite a few things. A, uh, a rear winch, uh, light bar and light and uh, spotlights, um, a backup camera with forward and reverse cameras and that's how these once they're wired up fit right in I've taken this one out you can see how easy that is I've got the wires to the backup camera soldered in place and I'll show you those connectors that work really really well they've got built-in solder they heat shrink seal and solder it's a great great thing and then these literally just fit right in to the pulse bar. They snap in with this snap here. And then to release it, you lift up on it and just pull it back out. So you can hear this pulse, this, this connector, literally, listen, just snap right in there. And that is solid. Uh, I've got two more connections that I can make a total of six on this pulse bar and again they're a direct connection the red and the red direct connection to the battery the black connects to the ground and they have a 40 amp fuse here that supplies the energy to that pulse bar which is quite substantial so in wiring this up Polaris pulse bar has made this so user friendly for DIY guys like myself and you I'm sure uh, that's why you're watching this to connect your accessory to this again red is hot always ground black and then keyed uh, electrical line here so when the when the ignition is on it's on when it's off it's turned off which is a great battery saver all you got to do is wire this up you don't have to hook it into the old type terminals and things that were present with the previous ones this is a huge improvement and really, really makes uh, adding accessories uh, much more, much easier than it was in the past. Thank you for watching. These quick connectors, I'll put a link in the description. They were pretty inexpensive. I think I bought, uh, believe it or not, 10 of them for less than $10. Quite fantastic. And they're really well done. You can get them also without the wires. So if you've got the impetus to put the connectors here and put the wires in that's great I like these wired and I'll show you the connections that really make this great so the best connectors for this in my opinion are these really nice connectors like this they literally go on you strip the wire connect the wire to the other connection put it in the center heat shrink both ends and then when you heat the center area this is solder that melts and you have a solder joint, which is incredible, as well as basically a waterproof seal on each end. These come in various sizes, obviously much larger, the yellow ones, medium blue, smaller red, and then there are very, some very teeny white ones too, but I haven't used any of those yet. But boy, do they work well, and they make this wiring, this adapter to the pulse bar really easy and really secure. By the way, those quick connects to just a heat gun instead of open flame. I use a small torch. It works really well. This is probably safer and better. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, 
this Polaris Pulse Bar is great. These quick connection, these quick attach connections make it really wonderful to hook up any type of accessory DIY thing that uh, we like to do. So again, thank you for watching. Comments are very welcome and responded to. Thank you very much.